A little something about Raymond. He's an investor in stocks and rentals. He wants no money from you. No bait and switch. Nothing. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to log into his personal account, share real estate property documents, and give you suggestions on what to read. All right. Happy New Year. Today is January 2nd, 2023. And I am so glad that 2022 is behind me because I lost a lot of money. And I'm about to show you guys how much money I lost. But before I get into it, I want to tell you guys, even though you're going to see I lost a whole bunch of money, I mean a huge number, remember if you are a long-term investor, you will win. Everybody has to start off with a dollar. I'm going to show you where I am now. I started off with a dollar, and the number that you're going to see is still a good number. It's just a lot less because 2022 was not a good year. So let's log in here because we're going to check out the entire portfolio, and we're also going to discuss my GM401K. So let's see what it do. It is secret code time. Close your eyes. All right, let's do this. Let's look at this portfolio. This is my total portfolio. These are all the investments, all the different accounts that I talk about. My Roth IRA, my rollover IRA, my GM and GE 401k. All those separate accounts, this is the big number. And right now I'm at $898,396.96. But where was I at the beginning of 20? 22. We're going to go to stocks and rentals. And once we get here, we're going to click on the menu and we're going to do portfolio tracking. This is where I keep all the videos. Whenever I make a video to try to get you guys to invest, I store the videos right here. And this is be the timeline where you can go all the way to the bottom and come all the way up to the top. And this is my proof that if you are a long-term investor, you will win. So we just clicked on portfolio tracking and I made a video as I always do at the end of each year, summarizing how that year affected my investments. So we're going to scroll down and I have to show you guys where I started in 2022 and I already showed you where I ended almost 900,000. All right. So this is the video I made about a year ago. And what was my value at the beginning of 2022? Woo! I was over a million dollars. $1,134,480.93. Man, I wish I could have that number back. So comparing this number to where we are right now, the difference is... I am sitting down. You, this ain't your money, so you can stand up and you probably won't cry or faint, but it wasn't a good year for me in 2022. I lost $236,083.95. That's a whole bunch of money to lose. I am under $900,000. But, and you know it's always a but, if you are a long-term investor, you will win. I had a bad 2022, but I had a, the best 2021. I made over $130,000 profit in one year. And the years prior to that, I was making a lot of money. So, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. So please, I had to start off with $1. You're going to start off with $1. And you can get this value or greater, almost $900,000. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to do this GM. So let's click right here. So here's my balance at the end of 2022, December 30th, 2022. I was at $84,084.53. Where was I at the beginning of 20? 22. I was at $96,499.22. So January 1st of 2022, I had this much. At the end of 2022, I had 
this much. And what is the difference? The difference is $12,414.96. That is a lot of money to lose. However, stay in the market. If you are a long-term investor, you will win. I guarantee it. Uh, this is proof. 2022 was a bad year. Maybe 2023 might be a bad year. But guess what? I'm going to keep investing beyond 2023. I am a long-term investor. And I started off with $1. And look where I am. $84,000. This is something that you guys can do. I'm going to leave a link in the description that will take you right here. Start here to learn about your 401k. And you saw a little over $84,000. This is something that you guys can do. There are 10 easy steps. Let me go through the steps. Step number one, you have to determine what type of investor you are. I help you. If you click right here, there are three different types of investors. There is a conservative investor, a balanced investor, and an aggressive investor. Once you determine what type of investor you are, you will be on your way to getting paid within your 401k. Step number two, there are terms you need to know. They're right here. You don't have to memorize them because you can always come back here. I do want to tell you these terms allowed me to get to almost $100,000 in my 401k. So it's not like you got to walk around with an encyclopedia on your back. These easy terms, and you're going to learn more, but starting off with these terms will get you going. Step number three, once you get into your 401k, you're going to see a lot of stuff to pick from. And I show you how to group all the stuff into what type of investor you are. If you're conservative, I say, look at this stuff. If you're balanced, you want to be over here. If you're aggressive, you might want to choose th these type of stocks. Step number four, I always talk about this, cumulative total return. What is it? Click right here. Five, there are fees within your 401k. You want to keep your fees low. They like to hide the fees. I show you where they are. I break them down. I tell you what's a good fee if you have to pay a fee. And what are bad fees? Step number six, annual rate of return. This is very important. I go into detail about that. Step number seven, what's in your 401k fund? I actually click on one. I take you step by step. I scroll through the fund. I show you all the stuff that you want to pay attention to. And the majority of the stuff, you ain't even got to worry about. And I point that stuff out. Number eight, I show you step-by-step step how to contribute money from your paycheck into your 401k. You got to get the money out of your paycheck into your 401k before you can start investing. Step number nine, once the money gets into your 401k, you got to tell it what to do. You have to put it into some type of investments. Step number nine shows you step-by-step step how to do that. Step number 10, I tell you how to sell. I tell you how to buy investments. That's all it is to it. Be a long-term investor. I started off with $1. You're going to start off with $1. And that $1 will grow, grow, and grow. Let's scroll up to the top. I'm about to close out this video. I invest in stocks. I invest in rentals. Please beware. If anybody is making videos and they're saying that they are a guru, but they never talk about their personal accounts. Did they lose? And if they do talk about their personal accounts, they only talk about when they're winning. Oh, the day was a good day. Or, well, tell them to crack open 2022 like I did. And uh, that's how you be transparent. And I believe that's how you get somebody's trust. I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, but it's way more good than ugly. I'm Raymond, Stocks and Rentals. I'm out. Peace. Come on, push the button. Yeah, come on, push the button up. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button.